Hi, I'm David from the Vodafone Tech Team. You've probably heard of phishing, but what is it and how can you tell if you're being targeted? Phishing is a common form of cyber fraud, scam emails, texts or phone calls to trick recipients into disclosing personal information, like usernames, passwords, bank details and PIN numbers. No reputable organisation will ever contact you asking for this kind of information and sharing these details can result in identity theft. This could ultimately result in money being stolen from your bank account. Email is the most common form of phishing. This is where an email looks and sounds like it's from a legitimate organisation, but it is in fact a scam. They include links to fake websites, fake phone numbers and might also include attachments containing viruses or malware. While phishing emails have undoubtedly got more sophisticated, there are a few things to look out for. The email will usually have an urgent nature. For example, this one, alleging to be from a bank, claims there's something wrong with your account that requires immediate attention. It then points you to a web address or phone number, which is where they'll capture all your details. The topic isn't always alarming and negative, like this one, claiming to be from HMRC, says you're entitled to a tax rebate. You just need to follow the link to claim it. Other things to look out for are grammatical errors and spelling mistakes. Something about the sentences might just not feel right. Trust your instinct. They may also have an impersonal greeting like dear sir, madam, although not always. It's worth checking the sender's email address. At first glance, it might look official, but hover your mouse over the name, or if you're on your phone, click on the name, and you'll see the actual address the email came from. This is usually full of special characters or numbers instead of letters. You can also hover your mouse over any web links in the email, or if you're on your phone, just hold down on the link. This will show you the destination address. So even though the text on the page might read vodafone.co.uk, it could be linking through to a scam site. If you're not sure a web link you've been sent is genuine, it's safer to use a trusted search engine to access the site. And also look out for HTTPS before the web address and a padlock symbol. This means the site is secure. Follow the same rules with phishing texts. Check the sender's details and the website or number within the text. And don't call numbers you don't recognise. These might connect to super expensive lines. You can always phone the organisation to check if they've contacted you by taking the number from your account documents or using a search engine. An advisor will soon be able to tell you whether it was authentic. And more often than not, if you've got your suspicions, it's likely to be fake. If you have any concerns about the validity of any Vodafone correspondence, just call our free helpline from your mobile on 191 and speak to one of us in person. You can also report emails and pop-ups to phishing at vodafone.co.uk or if it's a text, forward it to 7726. This is our free spam text reporting service. There's a lot to think about and it might sound a bit daunting, but it's important to stay safe. Always stop and consider whether the email you've received might be suspicious. Don't feel obliged to act immediately and if in doubt, be on the safe side. Don't open the attachment, don't click the link, don't phone the number. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.